Today I'm making my roasted potatoes with scrambled tofu eggs from my cookbook, The High Five Diet. I've never shared a recipe from either of my two cookbooks on YouTube or on my blog, but I thought I would demonstrate how I make this low-fat, plant-based, oil-free, nut-free, vegan entree so you literally have a taste from my book. I'm going to dice a yellow onion. White onion's fine. I'm going to do a double batch. So I've got, I'm doing two boxes of tofu and this one's already drained. I've got my press right here and I'm just gonna dump out the liquid and removing the liquid will help it taste more meaty. It dries it out more and that will help the seasoning and the stick to it. So I wanna make it like scrambled eggs. So with clean hands, just enjoy squeezing it. So you don't want, you want different sizes and I kind of like big chunks and little chunks. So I'm gonna just do this with both. And don't worry about being perfect. And then we'll be sauteing this with the veggies. So I'll show you what this looks like with this. A couple different types of presses. I'm not really a fan of this one. Kind of takes too long. All right, drop that. So see it's pressed. And there's a little bit of extra moisture. So I'll just take some of that moisture off. And same thing. Really does make a big difference when you, when you press it. Okay, so right now let's add the coconut aminos. Coconut aminos, if you've never tried it or don't know what it is, it's a combination of a soy sauce and maple syrup. So it's sweet and salty. It kind of has a Hawaiian flair to it. But it's not too salty and it's not too sweet. So. And it's great because if you use this instead of salt, it's less salty because you don't want your food to taste salty. You want it to taste tasty. <laughs> All right, so it's already absorbing the coconut aminos. And then I'm just going to put this back in the refrigerator to absorb all the flavors from this seasoning. Got my massive red bell pepper. We're going to core and seed it. Beautiful. And then I just like to remove the inside. Pop that out. And then I like to remove these little parts here, they just really don't taste as good. So remove that. And then we're going to dice it into bite-sized pieces. Remove any seeds and any white parts. I'm gonna add some Kalamata olives. This is just I love these, the brininess, the saltiness, just a little bit of kick. It's so wonderful. And an omelet. All right. So we're gonna just slice these. You can do it in halves. Now olives are high fat, salty food. So we do want to limit them but you can still enjoy them. Just don't go overboard. So 
I eat them, but I just try not to eat too many. I'm not anti-salt like a lot of people are. You know, I exercise a lot, and so I'm losing a lot of salt, and I don't eat a ton of calories, and I make everything from scratch, so I'm not eating processed foods, very little. I know the coconut aminos have salt in it, but I generally really eat a low salt diet. So you wanna start with a pan that's already warm, so I have it on a medium high heat, and then I'm gonna saute my vegetables. I always start with the onions, and you can hear it starting to cook. Now you can stir fry this dry without adding any liquid. I like to add liquid and a couple choices are a vegetable stock, water, or wine. It all tastes the same. So it really does not matter what your liquid is regarding the taste of the food. But if you do add the wine, and you guess it will smell amazing. All right, look at that. So these are cooked down. So they're already sauteed. I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients. You can add any vegetables to your saute and you can cook saute anything just with water just like this so i'm just gonna cook this for a couple minutes and then the vegetables will be done my vegetables are done and it was pretty easy so right now we are prepping our oven roasted potatoes skin on the potatoes have been rinsed and just brushed off and just cutting them up into Actually pretty large bite-sized pieces so not too small and keeping the skin on and then we're going to bake it in this glass rectangular baking dish we're using two different types of potatoes Yukon gold and russet so we're sprinkling some water over the potatoes because we do not use oil and this will help the spices stick. All right, we're gonna season up our potatoes with some salt. I am not anti-salt. We don't use a whole lot, just a little bit. For flavor, some garlic powder. And onion powder. So you can see it's not a ton, it's just a little sprinkle over the top. I've got some oregano, which is a great herb. You can pretty much put oregano on everything. It'll just make it taste better. I've got some paprika. It's great for color. Cayenne pepper, so we're gonna add some heat. ground black pepper, freshly ground. Toss it. What's nice is, you know, no oil, so you don't have a bunch of sticky oil all over your fingers. We're just incorporating those spices onto every little potato. I wanted to call it a wedge, but it's more like a a cube. Here's the seasoned potatoes and oh my goodness, they already smell delicious. Put the oven on for 375 degrees. All right, just put the potatoes in and we're not even preheating it. Just put it right in the oven. So the potatoes have been in the oven for 30 minutes and then we're just gonna stir them with a spatula. You want every little bit of these potatoes to be cooked. 
and we do like them a little bit crispy. We're gonna put them back in for 15 minutes. Oops. All right, taking the potatoes out, going to add the vegetables and the tofu because we want the, to the tofu has been in the fridge and we're not I mean we are kind of cooking the tofu we're just going to dry it out a little bit more and just mix that in gently trying not to break up the tofu put it back in the oven don't forget to grab your mitts it's hot check it again in another 15 minutes and now here's the final product delicious and just add hot sauce and that's it If you think you'll like this recipe, you'll love the cheesy vegan broccoli casserole, Greek chickpeas with zoodles, Italian creamy white beans and spaghetti, jalapeno vegan cheese dip, rich and creamy broccoli soup, vegan veggie mac and cheese casserole, taco salad, just to name a few of my favorites. It's not just a cookbook. Included is a list of the worst diets, why certain establishments want to keep you sick, fat, and uninformed how the suppression of nutritional facts by special interests driven by profits promotes lies and illness, how to prevent and reverse disease by fine-tuning macronutrients to your specific needs, how to eat large portions of carbs to lose body fat and reduce insulin resistance. You can order my book from my website, thehighfivediet.com. Hope to see you soon.